Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn about the routing module. So in the previous video, we just recap the routing and module. And in this video, we will learn that what is the routing module. So let's uh, look out the points of the video. First of all, we will see what is the routing module, why this is important all. And then we will make the module and we will also add a routing file inside a module. Then we will define the routing for every component then we have to make the routing links and after that we can just test our routing module right so the first question is that what is the routing module so when we define the routing inside a specific module then we call a routing module and how it's actually work so let's say you have a module with the name of admin and you have some component related to the admin module like admin login admin list and uh, admin operations and all right then we will define these uh, all components routing like uh, routing uh, login page routing then um, uh, list page routing inside this admin module only right so this is we call the routing module and why this is uh, important and where we need it when we have a small application then we will define the old routing inside the app routing module.ts file right so what it will actually do it will load the old module when we are just loading the, our uh, complete application uh, you can see that the, when we are just loading this complete application then the old routes are loaded by default right but uh, this is not a good practice for the you can see that the large project when we have the thousands of route and all because maybe uh, for the one module we don't need these kind of routes on a home page right so we need somewhere else then at the home page we will load only necessary routes and uh, when we need some like admin module then we will load the admin admin routes and for that what we need to do we just have to define the routes inside a admin module right so let's understand it with the example so now first of all i am just going to make a admin module so let's write here ng g for generate m for module and my module name is let's say admin right and uh, when you just want to make a modular uh, routing module then we have to just add here minus minus routing and just hit the enter and now you can see that we got the two files one is the admin routing module and another one is the admin module so now let's open them and see first of all let's the admin module here you can see that this is the oh, sorry this is the app module which is not required for a moment right so let's open the admin folder and here you can see that we have the both files here right and inside the admin uh, module we have the admin routing module also so that's great and now when we just want to define the all routes for this admin module then we have to just write them here right so uh, now let's make the two components and define the routing here right and then we will see that how we can just achieve this the complete thing so now just simply write here uh, ng g4 generate c4 component and we have to make the component inside the admin module so just write here admin slash login and similarly let's say we have let's show the admin list now we got the two component also so what i just want to do i want to open the two page one for the admin login and another for the admin list so that i have to just uh, define the routing for it so just write here import something from and our route name so let's say listing then just define the list component and uh, just write here list component import it right and uh, similarly let's import something from now we have to just import the login component right and just simply write here login component define the path for both of them define path and uh, here just write here list uh, yeah list is fair enough as in path and on list path what component we have to load 
we want to load uh, want to load a list component right and similarly let's define the one more path um, let me check if there is something wrong Ah, yes, I have to just put here comma as well as the component will be the small right and similarly we have a small component and let's load a login component here on a login path so that's great and here we also have to put their comma so now register this uh, admin module in the root module which is app.module.ts let's come here and import something from admin and admin module and just simply write here admin module and uh, now let's uh, register this uh, admin module inside the import right here right as you can see that the two more core modules are registered here so that's all and now let's see is there any error there is a no error everything is great and now uh, just come on the app.component.html right and let's define here a path also so just write here ul ally and anchor tag and with the anchor we have to use here router link right and uh, here we can put here simply we have to use here equal to path which is login and uh, let's put here text also so this is my login path for login page and once more let's define a list page path right and uh, here we have to define here route outlet oh, my bad it's router outlet and let's make it close that's great now let's come back here and let's click on the login when we just log in here then you can see that the login page is loaded here and list is also loaded on the list path so both are working fine so you can see that that this complete is a complete page here you can just define anything that you want on the login page and similar on the list page right and this is a kind of your nav bar you can just understand it like this so that's all for this video in the next video we will see that how we can just make a, a route grouping if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye bye. Take care.